You know, while we were watching that last segment, I had a really, really funny thought. You know, a lot of people don't realize that Paul McCartney is one of the richest men in the world. And I just was thinking, what if he lost his wallet? It'd be like, Linda, have you seen me wallet? I had six million in it. It'd be kind of scary, wouldn't it? I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> I had to share that with everyone. It was just kind of one of those zany thoughts that popped into my head. Well, kind of had to share that with well, everyone. Well, okay. Well, now that you share that with us, we're going to move on. Our next segment is going to be with Timothy Leary. He was a famous, uh, I should say, drug or LSD guru back in the late 60s uh, when things were very hip and everyone was going peace mad and, <laughs> and we were all marching and picketing and sitting and and holding hands and women were burning bras. He was actually even a professor at Harvard. And uh, this is what we're going to go back on. Pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting personality. Obviously, you see us donning the, uh, the uh, very hip type of uh, costumes that we're sporting right now. I'll tell you what, let's, let's take a look at Timothy Leary and uh, we'll be back with you in just a moment. Be hip. psychedelic music under the influence of a mind-altering chemical called LSD.